Six are dead in Chicago after a rash of violence in the first half of the 4th of July weekend. Breaking overnight a violent and deadly 4th of July in Chicago. But I've never seen so many guns like now, ever. Man began fighting and spilled out of a business on the 69th Street near Damon. 26 year old Darius Jones already has a gun in his hand. Despite that, one of the men grabs Jones and lifts him off the ground. But before he can body slam him, Jones pops off a shot, causing the man to let go and run for his life. You're carrying a gun right now, aren't you? I always carry one. Can I see it? This man says he became active with the gang Black Disciples at nine years old. More than 1,700 people have been shot in the city so far this year. 310 died. That's according to data compiled by the Chicago Sun Times. They don't really need no. I mean, you do need a man, but you know if it's necessary that you have to do without it. You'll get along just fine. You will. The young woman growing up in poverty often faces a different kind of future from her male counterpart. Early motherhood, usually alone. Hi, my name is Nadja James, and I'm coming to you to inform you about gang-related violence in the U.S. Have you or a loved one ever seen someone's life taken from them in the blink of an eye? Every year, about 20 to 40 percent of deaths in the U.S. occur because of gang-related violence. Families and friends are lost because someone from the rival gang wants to kill the enemy regardless of who's in its way. The history of gang banging isn't very long but has done a lot of damage to society and the personal lives of fam many family members. <laughs> Four years ago, one of mine got killed on Halstead. The church is chicken up there. Now here, two at one time. Two at one time. They trying to kill the Jackson's grandkids. God. The ever-growing rate of gang initiation is growing at a substantial rate, which means more violent activity and lives lost. More lives gone. There were no four families that are devastated, that has to turn around, and that has to bury children. Those somebody's sons out there. Those somebody's fathers out there. West Side ain't really too fucked up, but they starting to get on that shit too. East Side fucked up, Inglewood been fucked up, you feel me? The Hondas been fucked up. It's just the war zone. It's a war zone right now, you feel me? And 
a lot of niggas taking that that war shit and putting in their music and all type of shit. So it just keeping the violence going up and up and up. We do have some breaking news this morning. Chicago police have named the man they're charging with a quadruple murder in South Shore. Early this morning, Maurice Harris is looking at four counts of first degree murder. The 19 year old is accused of being the trigger man in four homicides on the 2700 block of 75th Street last Thursday. If I hate my origin in Africa, if I am a hater of self, then my brother, I hate him too. So the scripture says, how can you love God whom you have never seen and hate your brother whom you see every day? Michelle Pugh sobs uncontrollably after learning her son, Walter Long Jr., is dead. Pugh says her son called her before he was allegedly stabbed to death by this man, Kevin Alexander. It was the worst thing I've ever heard in, in, in my entire life. I was on the phone with him for nine minutes throughout this ordeal. You said you heard him take his last breath. Mm -hmm. They killed Lil Snoop in his own city. Wonder why I don't be in my own city. I don't know if niggas gonna clap for me or gonna kill me. Y'all's through, man. Come on. Oh, you know what? Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. leaving. Stay on this way. Wait, bro. Let me, let me move my car. Yeah, y'all, he up. He's good. He's good. Yeah, yeah, they won't. Oh, 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 they won't. Stay woke, stay woke, stay woke, stay woke, stay woke, stay 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 Please. Yeah, he good. He's still up. Come on. Stay woke, bro. Stay up, bro. Stay up, bro. Come on. Stay up, bro. Stay up, bro. Please. Hey, listen, I need you guys to step back. All right, guys, got some room, all right? Come on. It's right there. Bust, folks, bust, folks. MKK, bitch, hey, what's hey, up, hey. nigga? No good feel, nigga. You, you, folks, you hit him? Let me see. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, folks. Oh, next, make a left, make a left, make a left, make a left. Yeah, bitch, they gone, nigga. MKK, nigga. Hey, MKK, nigga. MKK, nigga. Y'all niggas ain't no shit. Y'all niggas ain't no shit. MKK, bitch. MKK, nigga. Y'all niggas ain't no shit.
Iraq in this list. Um, now this whole, like, shy Iraq term, does that offend me people who are from Chicago school? What you mean, do that offend? Because I don't use the word shy Iraq. So it's like, what do you, what you mean? Because I don't, I don't use the word shy Iraq. Because it, man, it don't relate to a whole such a thing got nothing to do with me. So it's like, you know, I try to, like I said, I can stay in my own lane. Stay focused, do what I gotta do. Mind my business. What is Chicago? I don't know what the fuck. I know, I know what Chicago is. Man, well, I am, sir. See ya. Get out of here. What up, bro? What's going on? You know what? Yeah. Step over there. I'm trying to see what happened right here. You know what? You can read about the newspaper tomorrow. I'm better than the newspaper. News. Stay on this side of the street, please. I'm walking. Why are you doing that? Let's go. You're a journey. I'm an animal. You're a journey. I'm an animal. Now you all have become tribes, clans. Crip is a tribe. Blood is a tribe. Baptist is a tribe. Methodist is a tribe. Catholics is a tribe. Sunni Muslim is a tribe. Ahmadiyya Muslim is a tribe. Nation of Islam is a tribe. And as long as we think like tribes, the enemy who put Shoshone against Navajo, against Hopi, against Cree, they keep you fighting against each other until Sitting Bull or somebody comes along that makes you able to see each other as one people and not a tribe. And whoever has the wisdom to break down the barriers that separate us from one another, that becomes the most dangerous individual to the uh, aim of white people to dominate the black, the Hispanic, and the people of color of our Now, country. when you made a peace treaty, then you need to understand the depth of what that means. See, peace means that I love for you what I love for myself. Peace means that I'll never go behind your back and talk about you, but if there's something in me that I want to say to you, I will talk directly to you, brother to brother, man to man, sister to sister, because backbiting breaks peace. Slander breaks peace. Gossip and rumor breaks peace. The moment you all made peace, there were those that were not happy with that. And the people that should have been happy about that were very disturbed about that. Now, why should people in government be disturbed that you all made peace in the streets? The police should have been the first to say, this is good. It makes our job easier but instead of certain members of the police and city administrations happy over your peace they went immediately to try to break the peace 
in Chicago, I'm wondering, you know, is it possible? And I believe it is, and I've even heard evidence of this, that a lot of the blacks being murdered in Chicago are not being killed by black people. A lot of the blacks being murdered in Chicago are not being killed by black people. I believe that either the state government or the local government, but I think more accurately, the federal government has hired, has hired a paramilitary covert agency to carry out systemic assassination of black men and women in the interest of population control. I'm gonna say this again, and I have evidence of this. I believe that there is a paramilitary operation financed by the government operating in these United States, and I believe Chicago is a test case. I believe Chicago is a test case in the mass extermination of black people. I believe mercenaries are killing these black people. In Chicago, you have video cameras at most intersections. In Chicago, you have video cameras at most intersections. Chicago has more police than most cities in America. How can you tell me no one knows who killed this person? How can you tell me no one knows who killed that person? Don't get me wrong, for a lot of these murders, if they were caught on tape, for a lot of these murders, they did catch the perpetrator. But for so many hundreds more, they did not. I believe these are contracted killings. These are contracted killings for organ traffic. Contracted killings for organ traffic. And not only contracted killings for organ traffic, I also think these are contracted killings by the United States government in the effort of population control. Everybody got a gun. I don't know, listen, I never seen so many guns. Like we had a lot of guns, but I never seen so many guns like now, ever. And it's girls, like, it's like they the dropped. It's like they dropped off, like somebody dropped off crates of guns in everybody hood. Like it's like, it seemed like it was designed for a motherfucker to lose. Audio preview. Audio preview. Thank you.